everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to teach you how to set your max um, request variables or max input variables. Um, this is a common request we see in our support desk at NameHero and there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. So I'm going to show you um, the easiest way and then I'm also going to show you a way that if you have multiple sites hosted with us here at NameHero, how to carry those same settings over. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to log into my account. So if you're following along, I'm going to hover over account and click log in. I'm then going to be brought to the client area. And um, from there, I want to go find my web hosting package. For this example, I'm going to be using keydiets.com. But if you're following along, you just need to get into the C panel of the website that you're trying to edit. So for my example, I'm using keydiets.com. It's on our plus cloud hosting package. So I'm going to click log in to C panel. And from here, we use what's called the PHP selector. So I'm going to type in select, and you'll see it comes right up, select PHP version, and click it. So this is unique and very powerful because at Name Hero, we allow you to run PHP 4.4 all the way up to 7.2. Um, and 7.2 is the latest stable version of PHP. And I recommend that for a lot of sites. There is some scripts that don't yet have the ion cube and um, loader encoded and all that stuff. So um, at least 7.0 is what we recommend. And it's what we have set on the server as default. But you have the ability to choose what version of PHP you want to run. And this is for all of our shared and reseller accounts at Name Hero. So most people are, are choosing at least 7.0. So that's what I'm going to keep this tutorial on. Um, and next, you can see these are PHP extensions. So back in the old days, if you needed an extension installed, you had to submit a ticket and the administration team had to install it on the server. Well now, these are all installed by default. They're already installed on the server. You just have to enable them on your account. So if you ever need a PHP extension, it's in here. But right now, we're going to talk about the max include variables because this is, um, or the max input variables because this is required for a lot of WordPress themes. And I know if you use WHMCS, it's required for that too. So we'll click this link that says switch to PHP options. And from here, you're going to see the different options. And if you're moving from an, another web host, maybe such as HostGator or Bluehost, you probably remember setting up a PHP any file, a php.ini file that goes into your public HTML directory. Well, we've tried to simplify that. And so everything is inside of cPanel for the most part. So you can see most all the options you need are right inside of cPanel. So if we wanted to change your max um, include variables, we could simply just go down here, um, max post variables here, uh, max request max request variables here, um, and max value length. These are also very common, um, very common things that need edited for WordPress themes as well as WHMCS. The max input variables too, um, and so you just basically click in here and you select what you want them to be set to. So for example, 1660, apply, maybe max file size is another big one, so 64 megabytes, let's say. Uh, post max size, that kind of goes along with max file size, so sometimes we'll just set that to 32. And so you just configure everything you need here and click save. And that's all you have to do. Now to make sure these settings took, what I like to do is go back into the home page of cPanel and go to file manager and then go into your public HTML and create a PHP info file. So this is, and I'll put this code on the, I'll put a link to um, this code on my video as well if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, so let's click add new file. We'll call this file info.php, create new file. Click edit, edit again, and then paste this code here. And once again, I'll put this code in a blog post and on the video so you can have it. It just says PHP info, um, but we save it. And now when I go to keydiets.com slash info.php, I can see these settings that I've been altering. So this is how you make sure that the settings took, for example. So for example, upload max file size, we can just highlight this, copy it, go back over here and paste it, and you can see 64 megabytes, 64 megabytes. Max input vers, um, 1660. We could paste in here and you can see 1660. So that's just how you're, you're sure that your settings in cPanel took effect. Now, sometimes people hit us up and, and they're like, well, I need this option set, but it's not in selector. And that happens. Sometimes a Cloud Linux update will happen and it'll wipe out some settings, which is not uncommon. Um, if you're moving to, if you're, let's say you have multiple WordPress websites that use the same theme and you don't want to go to every cPanel and edit this stuff. 
Understandable, could be a pain in the butt, right? Well, you can create a PHP any file as well at Name Hero. Um, we prefer you do everything in cPanel, but if there's something in here that you want to edit the, or something that's not in here, or if you have multiple sites, then you can do that. Now, it's important to note the PHP any file is going to override anything in here. So anything inside a PHP any file will override any of these settings. Let me show you an example. So I'll go back to File Manager, um, and I want to go up a level, up a level, whoop, right here. I want to go into the same directory of where my public HTML um, and all these weird looking files are. Sometimes I have to go to settings, um, show hidden files to show everything. Um, but I, I can or can't, it doesn't matter. But from here, just above public HTML, I'm going to create a file and I'm going to call it php.any, click create new file. Then you'll see it down here. And then I can click on edit, edit. And then I can add anything in here. So it's just some common ones I might want to set. So for example, let's just look at time zone. So if we go in our in info and we look at time zone, it's just set to UTC. Um, and if we wanted to change that, we could. Um, or if we wanted to change anything. So let me just show you an example. I will put an example, any file, copy this. And back to my any file, paste. So we'll put the stuff in here. So this is basically the same stuff that you see in the selector. But if you have anything that's not in here, or if you just want to override these settings, you can. So for um, max input variables, let's just do that one for an example. So max include variable 1660. Um, this is 10,000. So save. Now, once you put this file in here, it takes some time. It might not reflect this value instantly. It might take a little bit for it to take effect. So if you go to your PHP any file um, and you go to find and we search for it, you can see it's still showing 1660. It takes a little bit for this setting to take effect. Um, but this file will override these settings. And so again, if there's nothing, I would rather you see you do it in PHP selector, but if it's not in here, or you have multiple sites and you want to override it, you can put it inside of here. Now, again, it should take effect in a couple hours, an hour or two. If you need the settings to take immediate effect, hit up our support team and they can refresh the PHP settings on your account and, um, and they can do that for you. So, you know, things like time zone, I don't believe time zone's in this one. Right, yeah, there's no time zone selector. So you can see we're setting it to UTC right here. But if you wanted to change the time zone, you could change that right here as well, since that's not in the selector. So PHP selector, this is where you change everything. If the values are not there, create it any file and put it in there. And again, give it some time to update through the system. There's a cron job that's got to run every so often on the server, which will update your PHP settings and, and reflect the, the changes. Uh, but again, if you need it immediately, hit up our support team and we can refresh it right quick. So that's how you handle it at Name Hero. I know I've seen this a good bit in our support department. You know, I need to change my max include variables for my WordPress theme, or I need to set my max input variables for my WHMCS. So I wanted to show you exactly how it's done and, and where it's located. And, you know, as well as let's don't forget about the extensions are here. And also these options are dependent only for the PHP version. If we change over to 7.2, set as current, then it's still going to remember the PHP any file. It's going to remember this, but it's not going to remember the options. The options will change. Look, our max file size is now back to two megabytes. So if I change the version of PHP, I'll need to change these options here unless I'm using that any file. So just keep that in mind that the any file will work across all versions. Whereas if you're doing the selector, these, these are dependent upon what version you're selecting inside of here. So let us know if you have any questions. I hope this clears it up for a lot of people that um, get a little bit confused when it goes, when it comes to editing these. Um, and those that are not familiar with Name Hero, we are a high speed cloud WordPress web host. We specialize in WordPress, but of course we work with many other scripts and stuff. Um, and this is just one of the features that we do offer. Um, we're now powering over 20,000 websites. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much for watching and let us know if you have any questions.